hej och välkommen tillbaka till min YouTube kanal. Hej hej och välkommen. Mitt namn är er Tammy och detta är er min serie om självhjälp och självutveckling. Här kommer vi till att snacka om hur vi kan bli den bästa versionen av oss själv. Så so, let's get straight to this video. Denna här har jag tänkt lite sån lite länge bara på grund av att jag måste bara gå igenom mig själv för att finna ut vad är er det jag gjorde och vad är er det som hjälp mig. Så so, let's just if you go through a heartbreak right now, baby, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna get over this and you're gonna feel so much better in a couple months, believe me. But just take your time and let's go. Let's just talk about it. I got you. Okay, ladies, I'm not gonna play and I'm not gonna fake it. You need to cry. You need to get it out, girl. Get it out. Cry it out. It's so important to just sit down and feel those feelings. Det är er så viktigt att føle disse følelsene du går igenom Og bare få tårene ut. Because we really need to get all of our emotions out of our bodies, babe. And remember, ladies, emotional tears release oxytocin and endorphins. These chemicals makes people feel good and may also ease both physical and emotional points. In this way, cry can help us reduce pain and promote a sense of well-being. One thing, mama, you have two days. I will give you maybe three days to cry it out. For all to it, for three days. Like, cry it out, but three days, max. I will say two, but I will give you three, okay? I will give you a pass for three. Because remember, this person is a side character in your life. Ikke la den som er sidekarakter ta over din hovedkarakter. Helt ærlig, put på en eller flere gode old school sanger. I will give you three artists right now, babe. It's Mariah Carey, Mary Jane Blind, Brandy. You have a whole list of old school R&Bs that is gonna just like get you to cry out. Seriously, listen to those love songs so loud, so loud. If you live alone, close your doors, close your windows, and put it out loud and cry it out. Sing it with it. Jam with it. Få alle tårene du trenger å gråte ut. Hvis du bor med foreldrene dine, lokk døra, skru opp volumet og gråt. Gråt, det er det eneste du trenger å gjøre. Bare gråt. To dager, tre max. Make sure du faktiskt gråter och få allt det här ut. Because baby girl, we don't want to bury or let ourselves get triggered because we don't get over the situation. And one very important thing. Make sure you cry and heal in private, babe. Don't go out there, start to make TikToks about exes and how they treat you and whatever. Or go ham on your Twitter and start tweet about the situation. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We classy. We go and cry in private, you know? We heal in private, we cry in private. You don't want the world to see you going through that pain. You want to have that for yourself. Heal and just release all that pain and cry it out for yourself. Remember, we are classy, emotional, intelligent. So we cry in private. Remember who the F you are. Yes. Just like our friend Lori says, remember that you are the prize. När vi går igenom en breakup så är er det väldigt ofta att man glömmer vem man själv är. Er. Man går så sykt dypt i dessa förfärliga känslor att man tänker att världen verkligen bara faller från varandra. Ja, det gör det akkurat där och då. Men vi glömmer det att vi var något för den personen and we are somebody right now. Remember, you are a classy and strong woman with or without him. So always remind yourself of your qualities, okay? It's time to get up and grind. It's time to get back to that feminine, soft Side of you where you are feeling peaceful and joyful remember you are the main character of your life it's time to detach yourself from that breakup and start to remind yourself of what you deserve baby Det er ikke alle av oss som er like på denne her og jeg forstår det fullt ut fordi noen mennesker er sånn 
I don't care, I will never block him, blah 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 blah. Been there done that, babe. <laughs> One thing for sure, I will block you, your mama, your sister, your grandma, your boys, whoever. Yeah, block you, right? And not because of you, because of my peace. I don't need the drama. I don't need to see what you do and not do because I'm trying to heal. I'm not trying to see you or your family or whoever. I'm not. I'm really trying to heal myself, so I'm blocking everybody for my own mental health, you know? Oh, tally, no gang is more the fact is by the block all that or out for the neg and there. Because if you really feel that it's hard for you to get over someone. You deserve the peace. You deserve to not see whatever this dude is doing here or there. Du trenger ikke. Du trenger peacefully to get over someone. Then you do everything in your power to be over that person. You better protect yourself, your peace, your energy, your aura. Everything you have to protect, protect for your own good. And just remember, blocking him and his entourage is not a bad thing. Okay, just let me put it out there. It's not a bad thing. Like I said, it's nothing to do with him or them, but for you to be peaceful with yourself, you know, and to make sure that you are focused on you and your life. For the hara graya, når vi ikke blokker en person, vi har akkurat just broke up and we just like, oh, I'm just gonna let him be there. It's not gonna bother me. And you keep checking on him, or what he does or ikke gjør, hvor han er og ikke er, om han skal lidt you, you know the deal. You're checking on him all the time. You letting him be the main character in your life. And you over here being the side character. Babe, you already a side character in his life. Why the F are you trying to be in your own life? Like, why? Why are you being the side character of your life? Be the main character and stop checking on him. Put that energy on you. Focus on you. Do something good for you, you know? I really get passion about this topic because it's hard to get over someone and it's painful and everything but don't forget who the f you are like stop checking on his shit stop putting yourself in a position where you just get more and more hurt and have like this vibration where you're desperate and you need someone to like survive and you're just like girl like get it together get it together we are classy we don't do shit like that we are intelligent with our feelings and emotions like we know no 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 that's not what we are doing you're not in 2024 also really we have to 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 go through a breakup wow last time I was through a breakup it took me a year to get over someone and I'm just like why did I let that person control me so much like like so baby block his friends his mama sister and brother father baby mama grandma grandpa uncle auntie you know the deal block everybody and you're gonna be peaceful and joyful with yourself <laughs> okay now is the time and the part that i really love <laughs> this one is simple but so needed treat yourself why are you over here crying over someone that do not deserve you. If he broke up with you, let him go. If he cheated on you and you have to let him go, let him go. It's just God like really like removing all the negative in your life and make sure that you upgrade yourself, you know? Vi må virkelig bare huske på å ta vare på oss selv. For ja, når du går igjennom en breakup, det er veldig lett å bare la alt gå. Du orker ikke å fikse deg, du orker ingenting, du vil bare, du vil virkelig bare ligge inn på rommet ditt og føle synd på deg selv, og det gjør så vondt at du orker ikke engang pusse tenna, basically. I've been there. It's awful. Og helt ærlig, life is still moving. We're trying to be our best version of ourselves. So why in the world are we sitting here not taking care of ourselves, you know? Så vi må opp og stå ut og gå, gå og fikse neglene dine, gå og fikse sterne dine, gå og fikse sviktene dine, Go wax yourself all over the place because I know you haven't waxed yourself, baby. Because you're over there just like, I don't want this anymore. I'm not doing this. I know the feeling. I know the pain. But I promise you, 
Do those things for you. You're gonna feel so much better. Yeah, and for sure till å faktisk gjøre alt jeg kan for å føle meg bra. Jeg kan plutselig finne på å klippe håret, farge håret, fra langt til kort, fra kort til langt. I don't care. I'm just trying to feel good and sexy for myself. Not for nobody else, but for me. Føl vakker, fordi det gir deg selvtillit til å føle deg litt mer oppe, skjønner du? Du klarer å bære deg selv. Og ikke bare ligge inn på rommet ditt. Og så blir det til at du kanskje får en sånn der Oh, you look good today. Oh, sorry, thank you. Skjønner du? Og da begynner du å bare Ok, let me just little by little go out there. As you should. Don't sit home like crying over somebody. Son. That's it, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna say son. Just make sure you look good and feel good for yourself. It's your story, baby girl. So write a new one and let's get successful 2024. Okay, the last but not least. Now it's time to stop sitting on a boohoo poor me mindset and get real. And tap into our positive and joyful mindset. The best we can do is to be with people you love. It's your family, your friends, your homeboys. Just your squad, you know? Family, especially. I love to be with my family. I love to be with my friends. Because they make me feel good. Super positive, very glad, for me to learn, and they are always there for me. So make sure you have the people who really set the price on you, and really love you, and be around them all the time. Go and explore things, you know? Maybe you want to try a new hobby, go and try it, babe. Maybe you like it 100% and you start to do it every single day. You never know. Helt ærlig, go on a solo trip, family trip, girl trip, what else? Bare kom deg ut og ha det gøy med deg selv og dine folk. Og en ting som har alltid hjulpet meg når jeg har gått gjennom breakup is... Og ikke bare breakup with a guy, but like breakup with friends too. If God removes a person from your life, that person is not meant to be in your future. So when God removes, let him. It's for your best. And that's the thing. God really needs to, you know, shake your world remove people remove things remove situation for you to get new blessings for things to grow in your life so be grateful for the breakup be thankful because good things is about to come i know it's hard right there i'm done but good things is about to come so set new goals write down your goals be specific about what you want to do that nit or 2024 er her. Ikke la deg være i et forhold som er super negativ for deg, og det drainer deg. Du er ikke happy lenger. Babe, I know the breakup is gonna be tough, but move on. You gonna just be so much better with yourself, by yourself, than be in a toxic, boring relationship. Og hvis du allerede går gjennom et brudd akkurat nå, det kommer til å bli bedre. Det er kjipt og vondt akkurat der, men det kommer til å bli bedre. I swear. So, I really hope this helps someone out there that's going through a hard time right now in a breakup or situationship or whatever. And yeah, like, I know it's hard. I've been, to a, I've been through a couple hard breakups and... I remember my life was completely falling apart, but uh, it made me s grow so much. So take care of yourself, spend time with your family and friends, and I love you. I'll see you next time.